But I'm going to talk about a specific application, which is like the circuit breaker in the basement of your home, right? right. And, and so you have a, a whole bank of breakers at the, in the basement, and when there is some sort of a short circuit, which means like two wires are touching somewhere, and, and the breaker trips because it sees a huge spike in current, and then it takes that as a cue, and then it basically trips open and protects. So the function of the breaker is to protect. Now, that breaker takes milliseconds to actually switch, right? It's, it's a large mechanical... It's a spring and, and it's, a, it's two pieces of metal that pry apart, right? During those few milliseconds, the current actually rises to thousands of amps. If you, imagine if you have a circuit breaker that's ideal, which means it trips essentially instantaneously. The yeah. Typical fuse, right? Okay, gotcha. So available fault current out of these, these walls is about yeah. 500 amps, 600 amps. Okay. In industrial systems, it's in the thousands of amps. Uh, what we've done so far is demonstrated a fault on these MEMS devices that where the, the circuitry, the logic, reacts before the fuse has a chance to blow. 